Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting in the wind, I'm getting this, the, these rep openings ready for windows. Um, I've done all of them, this is the last one. I thought I would, you know, film the last one just to show you how we did it. So normally on stone builds, if you go and look at them, they'll have the window and then on the lower, like, you know, lower part of the window, on the outside of the building, there's gonna be a ramp, some, most of the time, of mortar. I'm sure it's probably done different ways, but what that does is that helps water when it's you know raining. It drains that away from the window and doesn't sit in that ledge. That's typically how I've seen it done on stone buildings. So the way I'm doing it is I got a five foot by two foot by three inch long looter stone. And what those are is basically if you can just imagine one of these big blocks, they just slice them. Imagine this, this block as it is, two by five, and they just slice it three inches, and you get a big slice. So I bought one of those big slices, and I cut it into this. So this was like, this is just basically a sliced up looter stone, and it gives me a nice flat surface to work with. Actually, two nice flat surfaces. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in the window, I'm gonna mortar it in, and I'm gonna make sure it's level. And I already know the height of my frames, so I'm gonna uh, make sure that, you know the mortar is not make sure the mortar is the right height. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna put in anchors, some uh, masonry screws, and if you come over here. This is gonna be the mortar ramp right here on the outside of this edge. So basically, like kind of where this. L is. So this space in here is going to be a ramp. And I'm going to put three masonry screws in. And then I'm going to put in this mesh. So I just bought a sheet of this mesh. And I'm going to set it in there as I'm mortaring it. The reason why is that's a, that's a lot of mortar in that space. And a lot of times if you put a bunch of mortar like that in at one time, it will crack. And so the masonry screws are just to help, you know, anchor the mortar to the stone. And then this is gonna stop the mortar from cracking as it dries. So I'll just put the anchors in and then I'll start doing the mortar right now. These are the masonry screws I'm using. They're just little two inch ones. And you don't need a hammer drill. With screws this small, you can just use a normal, well you can use a masonry bit, but you don't need a hammer drill when the bits are this small. So we'll put it in, make sure it's lined up. Also, um, you know, the wetter your mortar is, the more prone it is to cracking. So this mortar is a little bit drier. I've also been, it's also been sitting out. So, this is a type N masonry cement that I just mixed with regular masonry sand. Put a layer of this down. Okay, so here's a window that I did a little bit earlier. You can see it's been drying. There's no big cracks in it, which is good. Um, after like maybe 15, 20, maybe 10 to 15 minutes after I do the mortar, I come back with a sponge that I like a, the quick crate, uh, like the cement, like concrete, and I 
just brushed it with a sponge with that water on there. Um, and it kind of just, you know, helps get any, if there's any micro cracks, it will get rid of those. Um, so what's gonna happen is the windows are actually gonna be like, we're gonna, I'm gonna set back the frames maybe a quarter of an inch. And those frames are gonna be inside. And then the window is gonna set in that. And what that means is the window, the face of the window is actually gonna come out a little bit past the slip. And I'm gonna cut trim for the outside of the window that has a bevel on the inside. And so that bevel is actually gonna be overlapping this concrete, uh, this mortar lip just a little bit. So when it rains, it's just gonna slide off. And then I'll also do um, silicone and that sort of stuff as well, just on, on the edges. But this is uh, kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm sure there's different ways of doing it, but this is just the way we did it. It turned out pretty good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I built my frames already, just the two by six frame, and they're gonna go in here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because if you can see like this kind of stuff right here, there's uh, the walls, the openings are not exactly even. So we have to put some spacers in there and the way I'm doing it is I have four inch masonry screws and I'm putting, and that's how I'm anchoring the frames. What I'm doing right now is I'm installing the windows and I have one right here that I haven't um, put the window in yet. So I'm gonna kind of show how I'm doing this. So these were the looter stones that I talked about earlier. And what I did is I put silicone underneath this. Uh, so this is a, just a two by six. And then I've ran zip flashing tape um, along the edges on the inside and on the bottom here and the top. And I, I need to still cover that top part, but any part that's touching the stone has zip tape. And then I've also put silicone here. So this has silicone underneath it and silicone here. And all I've done is I'm basically just taking these masonry screws and I'm anchoring them in. And I'm using these spacers here to keep everything square. And then what I'm gonna do, as I'll come over to this window. So you can see the drip edge here. It's actually out farther than this ramp, which is what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put trim under here a hardy trim all around the window. And that, that trim is going to stick out on the bottom just a little bit past the top of this drip edge. Or sorry, uh, 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 um, on top of this mortar ramp here. So the water, if there does get any water underneath it, it will drip on this slanted face, not on the flat face. So that's going to go all the way around. So this will all be hardy filling this gap. And then I'm also going to silicone around the hardy on both sides so it will be sealed in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the back side of the window and all the space here that you can see that's little gaps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a urethane foam after I put the hardy in and I'm going to spray it against the back of the hardy from the inside. And that's going to seal, that's going to create a, a seal um, in all the gaps between the windows and the stone. And then after that, on the inside, I'll trim it out. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the frames in the stone. So these are frames that I made, just out of two by fours, and some one by fours. And I just dated out the back and made this, and then I dated out, or I just uh, routed out the slots for the, uh, the hinges. So this, how I'm putting in the doors is, if you can see, I've mentioned this before in previous videos, the stone is notched. So, there is, um, we just used a big 10 inch, or no, it was like a big uh, four inch blade, I think is what it was. So it cut, well it cut four inches deep, so I guess it was an eight inch blade, something like that. Basically they just went along and we cut all here. And what that did is it cut this groove and then we cut this way and we, you know, chiseled it out. And it left it not perfect, right? Because I mean, as you're cutting, Get the, your saw is following the profile of the stone, so some coats are shallower and some coats are deeper. So I came through and I cleaned that up. It's a little bit deep here, but at the top it's just about right. 
So that was the groove that was cut for the limestone, or through the limestone. Then what I did is um, I basically just, um, if you look over, let's see, if we come over to this line, We used full-size brick in here, but that threshold is about one and a quarter inch thick. So I had to create a little step in the brick, and this is what the threshold is going on. So the one that's over there, it looks like this underneath, and it leaves about maybe three quarters of an inch here, which gives about a half inch the threshold sticks up over the brick. So then what I did over there was I just put mortar down before I put the threshold in, and I kind of compacted it and hammered it into place. So it made it so there's no, this, the threshold isn't spongy or anything like that. It's, it feels really solid. So I put that mortar down, then I just slid the frame in. And then I just drilled holes and I'm using um, six inch concrete anchors. And I'm kind of going overkill on the anchors, but I just never want this door to come loose since we're gonna be using it all the time. So it's going I put one, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 anchors on each side, and then three in the top. Then what I'm gonna do, oh, and then I came through and I just backfilled this, the other threshold with more mortar. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through here, and I'm gonna fill all these grooves with um, mason, or with that mortar, which, with this color of mortar, the white spectrum. And I'm just gonna fill it all up through here, Places where it's really thick, I'll probably put in some mesh and I'll let it dry and I'll kind of just make it flush with the stone. And, you know, the stone is not perfect. So as you look at the front door, you'll see some parts, you'll see like that much of the trim, some parts you won't see very much at all. So that's just kind of the nature of having, kind of like using rougher stones like this to build. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do next. Backfill all through here with mortar. Uh, you can see when I drilled it down, I just put spacers, but that's typical. Um, made every, make sure everything was level and square. Uh, I need to take these out. These are stuck, unfortunately. I've got to cut them out. And when I anchored them, I used uh, an epoxy. So just a uh, Silka anchoring adhesive. It just dries about four minutes. So it has a really fast set time and it dries really hard like concrete. So anyway, um, that's what's happening right now. I'm going to start. This is the first door I put in. I need to put in three more. Mm -hmm.